And now for the most hateful job on doing up a melodeon, retaping the bellows. First step is to take the bellows off, or take the ends off the bellows, depending on your viewpoint. As we're taking both ends off, it's really reasonably important to mark the bellows so they go back on the way they came off. What I normally do is write treble top or TT. Possibly you can't see that. Just inside the top of the treble. So they will, will go back on the way it came off. Now what we have to do is remove the old bellows tape. Uh, I use a scalpel. Okay. Getting in a bit closer. Just pick it underneath. And some days you'll be lucky and the tape will come off in one piece. Or well, today, days like today, it's going to come off in a thousand pieces. All I'm trying to do at the moment is remove the gold. Oh, if nothing else, because I can then soak the tape to get the rest of the. tape off but it is just coming off quite nicely I usually go up one side flip it over and go back again So there's the first pass on that side, all except for the two end tapes. I'll just clear up a sec. Thank you. 
the two end folds the tape is actually stuck down between where are we between the bellows fold and the uh, bellows frame two ways of doing this either take the frames off or do what I do which is take the tape off and then run my scalpel down in this gap to half take the bell out, take the frames off and then just dig out as much of the tape as you can get Now the bit that seems to scare most people, getting the odd bits of tape off, use of water. So I've got a, just a piece of rag and some tap water. And just damp down the remaining parts of the glue or the backs of the tape. Then just wait a few minutes and we'll come back and remove those bits of tape. Okay, should now all hopefully just scrape off without causing too much further damage. using the back of the scalpel blade rather than the front. And finally, give it going with a paintbrush which will remove all the loose little bits. So oh, there's one side done. I won't bore you with a video of me doing the other three sides. It doesn't get any more exciting I'm afraid. We'll come back when there's something more exciting like putting tape back on. And there we have one set of D-tape bellows. Which I haven't cleaned out properly. Next job is to cut the tape out to retape it. Right, <coughs> we now need to cut the tapes. I use Charlie Marshall's best quality stripy Italian tape. Uh, it is three quarter inch. Uh, first thing to do is measure how long the tapes need to be. There are scratch marks on these are the metal parts, metal bellows corners to show you where to measure from and to. A picture will appear shortly. Uh, happens it's 26 centimeters on the long side and 13 centimeters on the short side. And there are a total of 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 strips per side. It's really important if you want the job to look right for all the 
tapes to be the correct length. To which end I do this. With a bunch of steel rulers. Where are we? Set this one at twenty six centimeters. And away we go, one. Two. There's the first 18. I've taken great care to stack them exactly as I cut them because the patterning on the tape, if you turn one round and put it in the middle of your bellows, it'll look really odd. So to make sure they all go on the same way round, I mark one end with a pencil. So that when I drop them on the floor, I can put them back in the right place. I'll get back to you when I've done all the rest of them. Now fit the frame end tapes, which is by far the most difficult part. It's a matter of slotting the tape down between the frame and the bellow. Trying to keep the height about the same all the way across. PVA glue
an off what excess glue you can and that looks fine I then clamp it between my a belly in the edge of the table to stop it popping back up again while I do the other side that looks fine <laughs> Then go and raid, raid the kitchen for some grease proof to stop any advertent sticking. Lay the grease proof in the bellows fold. It'd be easier if it wasn't so curly. And then clamp the bellows up. I have a change of camera angle, I think. I have two pieces of Conti board. Bellows in between. And some quick grips. And then we leave that for 10 minutes or so and go on round and do all the other frame pieces which I won't bore you with. It's just more of the same. To finish off the edge tapes I run a bead of super glue. Gorilla super glue into this gap. And again, clamp it up. I've overdone that. Thus, uh, leave it to dry, repeat for the other sides. Right, taping the rest of the bellows. I've marked each edge of the bellows with a line, which will be the line, which will be the end that carries the tape with the mark, just so that I make sure that everything. All the tapes laying the same way. First job is to go through all the tapes and fold them in half. Just makes fitting them easier. There they all are with a slight kink in them just makes fitting them easier. Then as much PVA glue as you can manage.
taking care to line it up with the little en engraved mark and to make sure it's balanced equally across the two sides of the fold. What we need to do now is clamp it up so the glue dries. I'll get the glue off your fingers first. Uh, again, grease proof or non stick kitchen paper. and leave it to dry. And hopefully it's all done on this side. Not a bad job. Putting any loose bits of debris. Small amount of overlapping glue. So there's one side done. I won't bore you with videos of the other two, three. But we'll come back when it's all finished. And time has passed. And it's time to unveil the new bellows. Or the new bellows tape at least.
and there we have nice shiny new bellows let's fit them back on and check that everything still works treble top first thing to check is whether the bellow straps still work because this tape's thicker than the phone the tape it's actually taken up the slack because they were a bit loose. 